Welcome back everyone, I am Psycho Emerald. Today I'm back with another top five ranking video. This is the first time I've done this video specifically, this kind of ranking. And uh, yeah, just I've been doing a lot of reviews lately and I thought, you know what, I wanna shake it up a little bit and do something a little different. So I was like, you know, what if I ranked the figures I'm most excited for this coming year? And there are a lot of really cool ones coming out. I love going back and finding, you know, older figures, maybe from previous years that I missed out on and finding them. Uh, like recently, Count Dooku and Mace Windu are two great examples of figures that are like, man, I missed out on these and these are awesome. Um, but there, I also love seeing what new ones they're going to come out with and what new characters and gaps they might fill in the collection um, and give us new opportunities to get more figures. So yeah, there's a lot of really cool ones that I've put my pre-orders down on and that I'm really, really excited about getting as soon as I possibly can. So I have several different picks on here. So it's just going to be a top five list. I'm going to go from five all the way to number one. My most anticipated figure release which will be number one. And uh, yeah, so we got a good range here. It's not going to be all Black Series or all Marvel Legends or whatever. Um, now it's going to have a little bit of a mix. There's going to be some stuff in there. And these are just the five figures I happen to be the most excited for this year um, that are going to be coming out. So yeah. But before we get into the top five, I wanted to do one honorable mention. And the reason I didn't include any of these on the list is because they're kind of already coming out. Um, so that is a Star Wars The Black Series uh, Wave 34, I believe it is. I don't know what wave of the Galaxy packaging it is, but I know, like, I think since the beginning of the red box line, this is the 34th wave. Uh, which is a lot of waves, but this is a really cool wave, and the reason I didn't include it is because it's coming out. My pre-orders have shipped already for Darth Maul and Migs Mayfeld, and I already have Ayla Secura in hand. Um, so I thought I'd mention these because these are all really cool, especially the Darth Maul and the Ayla Secura were the ones I'm most excited for, and they're really, really cool. So I thought I'd leave them off the list, though, since they've pretty much already come out. So it wouldn't really make sense. Like, well, I guess I am still anticipating some of them, but... I decided not to include it on the list since they're already coming out anyway, and most people are kind of getting them already. So without further ado, let's get into the top five, starting with number five. And my number five pick is Cassian Andor from the Andor TV series, the Vintage Collection 3.75 inch figure. Uh, I loved the Cassian Andor show. Uh, I thought it was great. Uh, I didn't think it was like definitive Star Wars or peak Star Wars or anything like that because it was a little bit of a different flavor and wasn't necessarily like my favorite flavor of Star Wars, but I thought it was spectacular the way they put that show together. Um, and I love the character of Cassian. I didn't care about him like hardly at all when Rogue One came out. And when I saw Rogue One, I was not really too invested in his character, but they fleshed him out and really developed him really well. After just those first three episodes, I was like, man, I need a figure of Cassian Andor in that maroon jacket and they delivered on it, and it looked a lot better than the Black Series one, which unfortunately to me does not look very good at all. Everything's super glossy, the head sculpt doesn't look anything like Diego Luna, and while the promo shots of the TVC one, here I'll put some up on screen, they don't look amazing. Once I saw Bosque Bounty uh, review him, I, the head sculpt looks so good. Like, it looks really good, maybe one of the best TVC head sculpts. I don't know if I'd go that far, but it is a really good one. So I'm really excited about getting this figure. I'm sure the articulation will be really good too. He's got his little blaster with it, uh, yeah, that's going to be a really fun one. I haven't gotten a TVC figure in a little while, but I do love me some TVC from time to time. So really excited about the Cassian and or TVC figure. So yeah, let's move on to number four. All right, and number four is going to be a Black Series figure. No surprise that Black Series ended up on the list. Um, and this won't be the last Black Series figure, trust me. But it is Bastila Shan from The Old Republic or Knights of the Old Republic. Um, now, this figure is one that I've been wanting to see for a while. I've just been wanting a figure of this character. She was a really cool character. I haven't played much of Knights of the Old Republic. I played it for a little while, and then I kind of got bored of it. I wasn't really a fan of the way the combat worked and stuff. It just wasn't very fun. But the whole lore and the world building of that era of Star Wars was really cool. And uh, Bastila was just cool Jedi. And really, what more do you need other than that? Like, she just had a cool look to her with her double-bladed yellow lightsaber and the way her outfit is very different from what we see with most Jedi, I think is really cool. And I'm excited they're finally making this figure um, because it's just cool to have some Old Republic stuff in the collection. So yeah, I did pre-order this one, of course, and uh, I am really excited about having it because having a little bit more Knights of the Old Republic in the collection can never be a bad thing. And this will actually be my first Knights of the Old Republic figure, which is pretty cool. So yeah, Basil of Shan is my number four. All right, now my number three as we get into the top three is a DC Multiverse figure. You guys might already know what it is, but it is Batman from 
Hush. Now, uh, yeah, I, I've read the first few issues of Batman Hush, and I thought it was pretty awesome. I thought the writing was really good, and especially the artwork. Jim Lee's artwork is just spectacular. I love the way Batman is drawn in that book. Um, and so, of course, I need to figure out it. I Like, my favorite look for Batman is going to be, you know, just a blue and gray bat suit. I just think that's so classic and so cool. Um, and they absolutely nailed that look in the Hush comic. And now they're finally making a McFarlane figure of it, so I don't have to worry, like, oh, should I get the Mayfax one? Because the Mayfax one's really expensive. So, yeah, I'm definitely not going to be getting that now that they have this available. And um, this is the only one on the list that I've ordered two of. Um, and that's not because, like, oh, I need two of them, but it was just because uh, Entertainment Earth shipping is expensive. But if you buy two, you know, you, if you're going to be paying $30 for one plus shipping, you may as well buy two for $40 and get free shipping. So I'm getting two. I don't know what I'm going to do with the second one, but I ordered two of these. It looks amazing. The, like, wash they put on the cape and the cowl just looks so good, make them really stand out. And the cape itself has just this awesome flow to it, just like it did in the comic. So I'm just super excited to finally have this. I think this may end up being my favorite Batman. It'll be hard to top the Todd McFarlane designed Batman. That's probably my favorite currently. Um, but we'll see. We'll see when I get this guy. He might overtake that one as my new favorite Batman figure. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited about that. So yeah, it's nice to have a little bit of variety on here. When I, I'm glad that once I started thinking of what my top five were, it wasn't just all one thing. Um, it ended up kind of having a nice variety to it. So yeah, I'm really excited for Batman Hodge. And that one's coming out sooner than a lot of the other ones. This one says March 2023, which is coming up pretty soon, maybe a month or two. So yeah, that's going to be my number three pick. All right, so my number two is going to be another Black Series figure. Surprise, surprise. And it is Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker from The Mandalorian. Now, this is just such an iconic, like, heroic look for Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker is just this amazing character that has such great longevity that like he's in the Mandalorian and he's just so many people love Luke Skywalker and me included I've always like as long as I can remember wanted an action figure of Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker from Return of the Jedi with the green lightsaber and I never ended up getting one for whatever reason and now like now that I'm collecting action figures and displaying them it's like well now's as good a time as any especially with the new technology that they're using to make the articulation like this guy looks like he's going to be super fun to pose and super well articulated and he's got his cloak which looks awesome and the head sculpt I think looks all right I still think Yavin Ceremony Luke is the best Black Series head sculpt we've ever seen for Mark Hamill but I think this one's all right and it'll definitely do well especially if you have the cloak on and the hood over his eyes that would look really really nice um, and the lightsaber looks really good too yeah I'm really excited about this figure such a great character one of my favorite characters of all time and such an iconic look for that character. So I'm really, really happy that they made this figure and it looks as good as it is. As it is. Uh, hopefully it, it releases soon as well as, you know, Bastille Shan. And I think there's some other figures. I think that's in the same wave as Bastille, isn't it? I don't know. I can never keep straight which waves are which. It doesn't really matter to me because I never buy the full waves anyway. Um, but yeah, that's going to be my number two pick. And yeah, let's move on to the number one. Okay, so my number one pick my most anticipated figure release of 2023 is actually not a figure it's three figures <laughs> it might count as cheating but I don't think so because I said figure releases not just figures but either way it's my list so my number one most anticipated figure release is the Spider-Man No Way Home Hasbro Pulse exclusive three pack I ordered this like as soon as it dropped uh, because I love Spider-Man, I love No Way Home, and I just need to have all three of these Spider-Mans represented. I have Tom Holland Spider-Man already with the integrated suit, but they fixed it, they made it more accurate, um, so that the web lines are painted and the gloves are the accurate colors as well. They come with different like wall crawling hands and such, and these just look so good. They look so accurate to how these characters look, not just in their movies, but in No Way Home specifically. And I just need to have all three different versions of Spider-Man represented on my shelf. That would be such a cool display to have on my MCU shelf. And uh, I just cannot wait. These things look so amazing. Especially that amazing Spider-Man looks the most amazing. Um, because it's just, yeah, if you just look at that sculpt, it looks so accurate. They got Andrew Garfield's like lanky proportions perfect. And I just think this is going to be such a fun set to finally get in hand whenever it comes out. I don't know when it's coming out. It says August. I'll take their word for it, but I'm sure it'll be here sometime soon. And I just cannot wait for this. This is just like a dream come true as soon as I saw it drop. Like that is, yeah, it's it's awesome. And I cannot wait. Um, I'd also like to see some actual promo shots 
Um, you know, like it was cool just when I first dropped to just see the uh, the digital renders because you could just get a feel for what the figures look like and know like, yes, absolutely, I'm buying that. But I would like to see some actual physical shots of the figures sometime soon, especially since they're coming out this year. Um, I hope they give us some actual physical photos of the physical copies of the figures because if they don't, then, you know, uh, I, I feel like I, not just me, but probably a lot of other people who order it are going to be a little disappointed, you know? So hopefully they do... Uh, release the promo shots soon so we can have some idea of what the actual physical product is going to look like. And yeah, No Way Home was just one of the coolest times being a MCU fan or Spider-Man fan. It's just that hype was insane. I think these figures are just like, yeah, these figures will just kind of encapsulate that perfectly with how well they've put them together. So yeah, I'm really excited about those. That's going to be my number one most anticipated figure release of 2023. Let me know down below. If you want to do a list, that would be cool. But if you also just want to let me know like what your most anticipated figure release is this year, um, that would be awesome as well. I don't get many comments on my videos, so you, you might be a little lonely down there in the comment section, but I'm hoping to change that. I'll definitely reply to your comment if you go down there and give me one of your uh, top picks or if you just want to say, hey, what's up? You know, I'll I can always reply to you guys' comments down there. I'm totally open to doing that. So, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun recording it. Um, if you did enjoy it, please leave a like. I would really appreciate that. If you like action figure reviews and action figure content, I do that on my channel. So please consider subscribing if you haven't already in order to join the Knights of Mischief. And as always, I hope you found this video enjoyable, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.